Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play original Xbox games on your PC. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now you can see me playing some Jet Set Radio. This emulator has been a while coming. I've been waiting for an actual original Xbox emulator for a long time. It's kind of crazy to think that we have a working 360 emulator quicker than we have an original Xbox emulator. But the time has finally come and we can finally get into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link and this is going to be for the CXBX GitHub page. We can download the latest version and see all the latest updates up here. If we scroll down, we're going to see system requirements. We can see the minimum specs is a Windows 7 Plus and a 32-bit architecture. It is recommended to have a GPU and overall you'll want a somewhat decent system. Not super old, but nothing super demanding either. What you're going to be looking for is the latest stable and you're going to be looking for the latest stable build here. Just a release build will be just fine. Click download here and your download will begin. Now, while we're on this page, I'm also going to be showing you a compatibility list that I found. This was submitted by a Reddit user. I'll leave links to the Reddit thread down below if you want to check out some more information. But if we come to this page, we should see a list of some of the original Xbox games along with some working states of state booting, state crashing, state perfect, partially working, state working, interactive, unresponsive, unverified, unknown. This list isn't perfect. Some of the states share the same colors. It's kind of a weird list. It's weirdly laid out, but it is a good initial resource if you want to check out some of the games and see how working they are in the current version of the emulator it'll give you a good idea of what you can expect so i'm going to be leaving links to this in the description down below also but anyway once you've all this downloaded we should have our emulator here in a .zip file so we won't need renar 7 zip for this but we will need it for the games a little bit later so all you want to do is extract out the files and you should get a list like this you should have two application files in this you should have the cxbx application and then the cxbx debugger to open up the application, all you need to do is double click the application, click run, and then your emulator will open up. It doesn't actually install fully into the system, so you will need to keep this file around to be able to use the emulator. But for right now, this is the basic setup of the emulator. It's looking okay so far. It doesn't look too good. It doesn't look too bad, but it is working to the current state, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to be closing the emulator down for a second. I'm going to be talking about the games. So I'm not going to be showing you today's video or to actually download games. But games are still pretty easy to find with this, even with the whole recent EMU Paradise being shut down. So you will most likely have to find your games in the torrent file. So just look for reputable sources and you should be fine. But currently I have two games right here. I have Jet Set Radio Future and I also have Myth of Demons. Both of these games came in 7-zip files, so you will need WinRAR 7-zip to extract them. But as you can see, I have two folders for both these games. If I click in to open up Jet Set Radio for an example, what you're going to be looking for is a game.xbe, and that's what this game file is going to run off of, and then all the game's content should be in a folder like this. Now the folder structure may vary, as you can tell this doesn't have a media folder. All these default things are just in the root of this folder, so don't worry too much about that. As long as you have the default.xbe, you should be okay in most cases. Now if we open back up our emulator to actually load a game, what you want to do is come to File, Open XBE, Locate to wherever your games are. I'm going to start by loading Jet Set Radio. Click on the default of it, click Open, and then your game will be mounted. You'll know if it's mounted if you see the little cover image in the bottom right of the emulator. But you may be wondering how to actually start playing this. I'm going to be showing you that in a second, but first I'm going to be going through a couple settings. So as you can see, we have a settings tab right here. We can configure Xbox controller mapping, a direct info tab, video audio, and a couple of other settings here. I would recommend checking through some of these if you're having some issues. But out of the box for this emulator, I had my Xbox 360 controller support, so it worked just fine for me. But if you need to edit your controller settings, just come in here and configure your Xbox mapping controller and you can set up everything in here. Now that I've briefly showed you the settings to actually start and play a game once it's mounted like you can see in the bottom right, what you want to do is click emulation and you want to click start and then your game will start to play. Now on the top right we should be able to see our FPS counter and for the most part this game runs at a constant 60 FPS or just thereabouts. I do get some little dips here and there but the simulator is still in development. And I do want you to keep in mind that I am recording this also. So if you do see slightly less than ideal frame rates, just keep that in mind. The simulator does run pretty well for what it is. And I'm just going to be playing a little bit through this game, going through the menus just to show you that everything works. If you are having some trouble with your controller, I'd recommend just restarting the emulator to see if that fixes your issues. But as you can see, this game runs pretty smooth. I'll be testing my other game in one second now, just as I run through this game a little bit. It runs pretty fine. It's pretty close to 60 FPS consistently and it runs pretty okay. It's really cool to finally see a working Xbox 360 emulator. And I do want to apologize, I'm not very good at this game. I was just using it to test around to play around with some things. Once you're ready to close down your emulator to stop playing a game, all you want to do is click emulation and then stop. 
and then your game will stop playing. To mount another game is also the same. We go to File, Open XBE, and then locate your other XBE file. So in this case, mine's in Myth of Demons, default.xbe, click open, and then your other game will be mounted here. To start it one more time, emulation, and then start, and then your game will start to load. This once again, you can see the FPS counter on the right. As you can see, it kind of varies from game to game and from menu to menu. So don't be expecting perfect frame rates and everything, but this was pretty playable for me also. But anyway guys, as you can see, everything works pretty well. The emulator is pretty consistent and stable, apart from some menus here and there running a little bit slower. But overall, I'm really, really happy with this. As you can tell with this game, I can currently get into an in-game state. I can run around, but it's not loading in some of the textures. You should expect this with some of the games as it's still a work in progress. But don't let this fool you, a lot of games will still work just fine. As you can see, Jet Set Radio worked just fine. Anyway guys, it's that easy to play original Xbox games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful. I make all these videos for free, I always try to put the highest quality into them that I can. So if you enjoy them and you want me to keep making them, please check that out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, until next time as always. Keep it saucy. Peace.